So, Mark, thank you so much. Before anything, I have to say thank you so much for not only conceding to do this, but for, I mean, dressing I can't... Up like this. Excuse me? For dressing up like this. For dressing up like this and for, uh, I mean, you know, I just, I'm a young whippersnapper. I show up at the Penguin Club and uh, not only were you, were you kind to me, I mean, I guess I came by that first night with, um, with uh, Renegade Soundwave. Yeah. Not only were you treating me like an old friend, you, you wrote out little maps for me and really pointed me in the right direction of, of places All to go survey here. survey trading as a young man. Yeah, a very, Manchester. very, very kind of you. And um, I guess the, 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 real, the real question here, first off, is um, for those people who have read the book, is Norman Stasi? I don't know. Uh, but you have applied to... Yeah, to both Tost and myself, we both applied about... It's, it's over a year, but it's almost two years ago now. Yeah. To, uh, which is coming a bit closer than I'd have to shout. Uh -huh. yeah. Sure. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. Before, no so problem. It's beautiful weather we're having. Um, no, we, we both applied. Uh, I applied. I, I was arrested by the Bundesnachrichtendienst, which is like the Federal Republic of Germany. MI5 or whatever, right. um, because some evidence of some kind had come up linking me to some Czech secret service agent right. who'd been operative during like 1980s up until 1989. In fact, he's actually the, I found this out in the meantime, he's actually the um, still head of the Czech Secret Service in Bonn. Really? Uh, now, this whoever had been using my flat had been using my flat as a communications centre really? since 1986 or so. Um, on and off, not constantly, but on occasions of this period. Really? Yeah. Now, uh, as I found out, as they, uh, they, they came, they, they asked me to come for an interview, they invited me for an interview, you know, typical Secret Service style, sure. said, yeah, come by for an interview. And I said, well, what's happened to a don't? And they went, if you don't come, I will come and get you. So I decided to go along, and it turned out that through the course of, like, interviews, it wasn't just one, it ended up being quite a few, um, they had information which Obviously, they could have only have got from Stasi files. Yeah. Really? And this kind of strengthened my opinion that in our innermost circle of friends, whether it being, uh, I mean, not even before Norman came upon the scene, right? Which he only appeared on the scene, incidentally, after. I had been across for the first couple of times with um, one of the American soldiers. Right, right. I don't know what I'm telling you. <laughs> you could put me in prison for this. <laughs> uh, only after this uh, did Norman appear on the scene and in our little group, you know. Sure, sure. And but this, 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 this business had been going on for quite a while beforehand. Uh, because a friend of ours who f fled East Germany uh, in about, 80, about 85, I think he, he left. Uh, he, was, he was his parents, his father was Yugoslavian, and so he decided to apply for an exit visa to Yugoslavia and mm. never to come back to East Germany. He did so, came back to before, he came, before he, they let him out. They showed him some photographs of. Uh, couple of things, events, one of which was the very, very first Tolton Hosen gig. Right, 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 right. In the church. Which you organised. Well, you... well, I didn't organise it. Torsten and his sister organised it. I mean, I was just the kind of middle person, I suppose. Well, it was the second one you organised. The second one you organised, right? Well, all partly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can't take full responsibility for all that. that <laughs> uh, me and Trevor and Torsten and his sure. sister. Um, and there was photographs of us at this party, everybody, 
Now I don't ever recall anybody ever having a camera at this party, so I, mm. I really don't know how they got the pictures. So, um, you know, I mean, one person amongst this group obviously was an informer, which was almost obvious, you know. I mean, mm. we've known this for such a long time that mm. we've not been completely dim, you know, mm. that uh, one out of every so many seven or one out of ten people could quite possibly be in some form of informer to the Stasi or to the Czech Secret Service that right. sat around the table five people you can guarantee that one person is going to at least be an informer. You know? right. So we're in a way, we always had this, I mean, I always had this in mind anyway, when ever talking, and only with being with Torsten did we get, you know, get a more closer sure. contact. And I don't think Torsten was a star. Oh, um, no. After the incident in the, which is described in the book, uh, where Norman and Torsten were arrested, mm -hmm. Torsten was let out rather quickly. Uh, right. uh, Norman was let out rather quickly, whereas Torsten was killed right. for quite a while. Right. Also, found out in, in the meantime that Norman's father used to be in the Stasi and he died of a brain hemorrhage. Really? <laughs> right, right. Well, right. we don't know what happened there and now we'll probably we'll never find out and I think that, you know, it's quite possible that Norman could have been right. in the Secret Service. I mean, there's a lot of, not Secret Service, I think, you know, I think he might have just been like made to do something which he probably didn't really want to do. Right. And looking back at other incidents that happened like these incidents which are not described in the book because Dave wasn't always there he was as it as it happened he arrived in 1988 right and from like I've been here for 16 years in Berlin mm. and so there's a lot of things which had happened prior to that sure to Dave sure coming. sure and a lot of things that happened while Dave was here but Dave didn't know because Dave didn't have the possibilities of going to East Germany all the time. Right, right. I had a kind of like a Berlin permit which allowed me to go over to Berlin. Right. I worked here making a record in the later half of 1989 and so I was able to come over, over here even more than I did before uh, and a lot of things happened as well and there's like once or twice we went out with Norman to various places in East Germany as well. Went there on my own a few times. Yeah. And um, he was sometimes very jumpy, you know, like nervous. Right, yeah, you know, like, I remember from the book. Yeah, yeah, but not in, not in the same style that was described in the book. Mm -hmm. Nom, I think Nom was just a generally a kind of like a nervous, nervous, quiet kind of person. Nervous fellow. He was very secretive. He always had all kind of information which you think, oh, where did you get that information from? And he go, oh, just someone I found, not met, or someone I know. And it was like always very kind of like right. elusive with his answers. I never actually come up with these, with kind of concrete answers sure. to our questions. And in the end of it, I just decided to, 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 to not really bother questioning him. Yeah. And just accepted the fact that if he knew some information, then uh, he knew it, you know. And however he come by this information was purely his business, you know. Sure. Um, so eventually when you do receive the Stasi files, whenever that may be, you should get a definitive answer one way or another, though. Yeah, well, then I'll find out, and Torsten will too, because, like, who was the person who was the person who got watched over right. us, really? I mean, it's like, you know, the, sure. we sure. actually broke the law, <laughs> both sides of right. the wall, you know, right. with the Americans and with the Germans and the East Germans and the Russians yeah. and whatever. Yeah, well, it we seems... Brought, we broke the law, you know, and uh, I'm sure that, like, the American soldiers who were involved, they would have had a very difficult time if they'd have been found out. Sure, sure. They still could have a difficult time if they get found out. Uh, Some of them are still in the services. You know, one of them he works in the Pentagon, in fact. But he's not mentioned in the book, unfortunately for him. Right. Um, and looking back, one of the guys who was a chaplain's assistant, he 